Hello and welcome back to another Demis Helen tutorial. We're going to use Rapid today to make a one key track and what I mean by that is using the different layers on there to build like say the kick, the bass and maybe the lead or something like that or a pluck uh, and I'll just show you how you can do that within Rapid. Uh, I just want to let you know that this is not sponsored by Powerwave Audio in any fashion, this is just me and Rapid has become one of my daily go-to synths now um, alongside Spire Union and Hive 2. They're my daily drivers at the moment. So let's have a look here. If you're just wondering what these colors are and you haven't seen the previous video, uh, you can go and check that on screen now. Um, these are masked synths, so you can't see what names they are, and you've got to guess on the poll on my Facebook page. It's the pinned comment. Uh, or should we say the pinned topic at the top of my page and you can vote to say I think the green one is Spire, I think the yellow one is Rapid or whatever it might be. So uh, yeah, head over there, that link was on the screen. So getting back to this video, uh, let's colour this track here so we know it's different from the rest. We'll do it bright pink. And what I mean by one key tracks is we have eight layers available here with three oscillators per layer and you can load different things in. So I've gone in here to the Trans Essence Pack and I've chosen Drum Set 6 here and when you hit the key you have a kick and you have all the elements you need to make a track with some nice reverse build-ups and things there. Brilliant. All right, so uh, let's just get that kick sample back there. But we're going to use the um, the sequencer here. So I'm going to turn on the arpeggiator, and I'm just going to note these in for the kick drums. So now when we hold the key, we have a sequence. Now it's not fast enough, so I'm just going to double the speed. Okay, sounding good. I'm just going to change the lengths here. So you can do a lot in this sequencer. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Sounds really nice. Okay, so you can sequence there, and then obviously we can start throwing in hats and things, um, but we'll just keep it as a kick layer. So on the second layer, we will build an arpeggio. So let's build um, an arp. Now you can pick some presets here, so you can go into, say, trance, trans one and you get some presets in there so it's using this basic saw at the moment all right and we can just shape that so we'll do some design we'll pick that arpeggiator there just to keep this uh, really simple you can and drag and drop so if you wanted say this main sequence here that we built in a couple of videos back you can just uh, drag and drop it on there, so it'll say one, import, and there we are. We have our MIDI sequence already put in there, so we can just deactivate those, so we only have that one. Okay, so you can have that whole sequence in there that you've made in your own MIDI clips. So that is a really good feature as well, but we're not going to do that today, we're going to pick a preset pattern. Uh, so, let's go back in to reset layer, that's what I was meant to do, uh, and then we'll go to, should we go to baseline, let's go to baseline one. Uh, let's just keep this under control, I'll just turn this down for a second on the filter. That sounds really nice. So we'll use baseline two alongside this one, uh, and we'll do some preset design, obviously, once we get there. So we've got a kick layer, so a drum layer. We've got a melodic layer, which we'll probably use as uh, a pluck. And then we've got a bass layer there that we can edit. And then finally, let's have, uh, so we've got melody. Let's have a chords layer. Uh, let's just go back to trance, in fact, See, we've got mid bass layers there as well. So let's put a mid bass in. So now we should have. Right, that sounds really good. Once we start separating these layers out. Okay, uh, so head over to here, click edit, and this is where we can name our layers. So we can put drums, um, 
let's just put pluck one. We can put main base. Let's just call that, we'll call that mid base one. Okay, and when you click apply, they're all labeled accordingly. So there we have it. We built our one key track already. <laughs> Alright, uh, so let's go to drums. So we've got the drum sequence there, the pluck. Let's shape this pluck. So I'm going to use the Low Pass Pro. I'm going to use this. And then I'm going to attach envelope B to this, and then we can get some nice pluckiness out of it. And let's just build that envelope in there a little bit on top. So let's just concentrate on this layer. Sharper. Okay, so we just got some simple things there. Um, we'll use layer eight as our effects section. So let's just put some reverb on there, and we're going to pick synth, and let's just see what Dreamer sounds like. Oh, and turn this oscillator off here. And then it would help if... I'm going to put it on the bottom layer here, the send, and send to layer 8 would have sent all of it there. There we are. Listen to that beauty. So that's going to be our master reverb there. And then on the actual track itself, let's put some delay. That sounds really nice. Let's just mix that down a bit. Okay, and then we're going to route macro one to the filter there, and we'll turn it down a little bit further. In fact, that's where we want it to be, so let's just have that there. So when it comes in, we're at 9 o'clock. And then we'll open this envelope maybe just a tad more when this um, comes up. All right, brilliant. So uh, let's just put a little bit... Let's see what Mirror A sounds like on this particular sample. See, we've got that nice plasticky modern feel. I like to call it plastic. It just gives me that impression. Epic. Right, so we've got a bend there as well. So we can use Macro 2 to start changing the kind of timbre of the song uh, as it's playing. So if we do it, so Macro 2 opens up to 50%. Okay, and then the same time, Macro 2 is going to turn the bass down just so we get rid of some of them elements that are going to conflict with the bass. A bit further. And at the same time, let's just open up the treble a little bit. Okay, so we have our sound. We'll layer that up a bit later on. Uh, but we've got that first bit, so let's put that with the drums. So we're operating on middle C, so just so you know there on that. So in the one key track here, we don't make any movements whatsoever. We just go straight across. Don't know why I'm looping this much and why we haven't got quantize on. So we'll just do one, two bars. There we are. So now you can hear that on rapid we have this bass that's operating too high and all we have to do is just drop it down one octave and I'm going to keep it in line with the pluck so we can start shaping this and again let's use something like an analog low pass for the bass Open the envelope. OK, 
Okay, I'm just going to head into the master section here and just going to turn the pluck layer down. Right, so let's give this a little bit more grit. We're going to put a second layer in. Uh, I'm going to use the trans essence, essence uh, sample, so let's go back to the wavetables. Uh, I did, I think it was it the Dirty Stones one, or was it the WTM? Let's just go for Dirty Stones 2. Get that drop down an octave. Try two octaves. There, that just gives you a little bit of a low end if we just get rid of those. Right, let's give it a little bit of movement. So we're going to use... Uh, let's use a sequence. So we'll drag sequence A to the morph. So you can see now these uh, spikes are modulating the morph to 100% basically. Um, we're just going to erase all of those. And let's have it so... Yeah, that's so it keeps going through. BPM sync. Let's just try that. Uh, do, 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 do. Just got to figure this out here. We don't want to do it as a one shot, really. Um, okay, uh, so we'll do this as. Yeah, we can do this as a re trigger. So let's look where it re triggers and we'll set this to. Uh, BPM sync, and we'll set this back to eighths. Okay, so it's only hovering around there. So we've got two sections to play with there, and then we've got a full section there to play with. So we can modulate this, we can have that start there, and on that bit it could rise. In fact, let's rise it there to there, and then that drops back down. So when we hold that key, So we've effectively put this modulation in, which sounds not too nice, and then we've just turned the level down, so it's more like a, an opacity thing. It stops that being influenced as much. Um, let's just have a look at the original sound. Um, just going to get the bass information out of there for a second. All I'm doing here is now just shaping this and then we're going to close this filter down a little bit more with this pluck in place. So we have that there. Uh, Macro 3 is going to be our opening filter for the bass. So back into the edit, and we'll call this bass control. We'll call this um, melody control. We can't put that there. So we'll call that mellow cont. And then this is timbre. Okay, so things are starting to build up now. So if we put this back in, Let's close this envelope down a little bit more. Oh, 
Okay. And finally, let's have this mid bass. Let's get rid of these ideas. Uh, on this one, we're actually going to close this down a little bit. Okay, so we've got a nice sharp sound. And we're going to pick something a little bit harsher. So um, let's just start here. Start that again. Okay, let's knock that down one octave. Okay, so these aren't fitting the bill. Let's use one. In fact, let's have a look at the multi samples here. Um, There we are, that is the sort of sound we're looking for. So let's put that back at zero. Okay, we have our sound there. And then the mid bass, let's go for, should we go for a multi band pass or should we go for a multi, maybe a comb? Let's just try a comb, let's just see what it sounds like. Yeah, a little bit too uh, exaggerated. Let's go for a 12 dB band pass. for a bit of an acidic sound. Okay, and then we'll double this up here with... Let's have a look. In fact, let's have an exciter. Yeah, just to give it a bit more grit. bring that under control. So let's add that with the main bass line there. Let's try that another octave down. It might be a bit too much. That sounds really nice, but what we can do is just pitch up this key so we could start on G. Oh, let's start on A. So it's a bit further up and then that obviously brings up the bass note a little bit so it's not too low. Let's just drop that down. Let's have it on an F, I think. I think that's as far as I'd like to go. I think we can get away. I've got to find something that sounds nice. Yeah, F will do. So there we are with that. Open this back up. Let's put the drums in. Ah, yes, we've uh, pitched the drums up here. So we need to account for that. So we've just pitched up from C. So that's one, two, three, four, five semitones that we've pitched up there. So let's bring that back down five. There we are. Okay. Okay, so now we can build a section in here. If we go back to uh, the main base, let's just deactivate these again. And what we can do is change the length. So we can add 32 bars in there. Uh, and we can copy this pattern. So let's just drag this back that to there, drag it back so it's a, about there. 
the tune is minus 12 the velocity is a little bit lower so it's about 102 so let's just take that down a tad okay and then that pattern repeats so let's have that there back up to 127 is it yep so let's just put these notes in. So that's uh, bum 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 bum. There we are. And then let's put these joining connecting notes in between there, and then they're down to a hundred and two ish. Don't have to be dead on, but there we are. Again there, again there, and then on this one we have a note that's full length. end and this is put back up to 127 obviously yeah uh, and then you can see here the third note here is back at 127 so one two three let's put that back up so now we should just have a full loop so let's just play So now what we have to do with this, because uh, these are octaves, okay, they're just octaves there, we need to change the pitch using the tune feature here. So if we was to not have the arpeggiator on, have that plug there, let's ignore that bass note, keep playing. So we're going to put an A, a B flat in there. So the B flat from the F is one, two, three, four, five semitones. So we need to take shave five off the tune there. So we go one, two, three, four, five. So minus seven, uh, but we don't want to do it on that one. So let's just put that back down to minus 12. We want to do it on that last bar. So if we put all these to minus seven, We are so now when we have that key depressed and put the arpeggiator back on. So we can get more intricate with that, but we'll keep the bass simple because we'll be here for days building a track on here. Uh, so we've got that sound. Let's have the mid bass follow suit. Uh, so this should be fairly similar to edit. So on the beat there we have a full length note that's just a little bit shy. And let's just put these at 12. Okay, so then they span across octaves and they are the same length apart from there. So let's just do these ones here. This one is like that. Right, I think that's it. So let's just have a listen to that as well. So if you take a look here, we're on 16ths uh, as the rate and then on the mid bass we're on 30 seconds so we would have to drop this to 16th which is going to result in it playing slower so you'd have to redo the pattern uh, but to suit that grid but we'll keep it there because it sounds okay I'm not going to go too much into depth it sounds good where it is and uh, I'm happy with that so let's get rid of the pluck let's get rid of that the mid bass we are going to put some delay on here 
fact, let's put some tonal delay. Let's give it some uh, character. Okay, and then we'll feed that into a dual delay. And we'll put dotted, possibly. give these both band passes. Uh, it's really good to get sounds like this. A little bit of modulation there. And I suppose there's no harm in sending this through to our layer here, we'll just send it through a little bit. Just a little bit, so we've got a little bit of that reverb, that is the master reverb. So again, layered with the bass and the kick. Okay, and I'm gonna side chain all of these, so I'm gonna put this at the bottom of the chain, and we'll put side chain on there, and we'll just increase its mix. here okay let's get this pluck a little bit more dreamy we haven't layered this one yet so what do we have on the, f oh, let's just click OK on that. So we just have the basic one with the mirror N, uh, A bend on there. So let's go for something a little bit, uh, we don't want multi-samples. Let's just go for cluster on here. Let's just get rid of these that are influencing our sound. So very similar. That's got a nice sound. Uh, and if we just put some drift on that, I think, and make it a bit warmer so it's not got that uh, kind of top edge on it. So you can hear without the warmth. Just shaves that top end off and uh, gives those lower harmonics a little bit more presence. Uh, and we'll drag that bass down as well. So when we filter the timbre, that turns the bass down on there. So it turns it down to just past nine o'clock. I'm just going to turn this down so we've got a little bit of bass out of there to start with. Just put a bit of EQ on here, uh, and I'm going to put this to high pass. a shiny layer on the top which is going to be plus 12 and it's going to be a little bit quieter uh, we'll go to the factory sounds let's just try pwm1 gonna be a bit too thin i think there we are we have our sound right there uh, let's just yeah let's put a bit of noise on there Turn 
turn it down. Okay, there we have it. So let's just try that in with the bass and the mid. Okay, so we have a dramatic volume increase here when this is fully filtered. So there are a few ways that we can do this. We can use the gain here to balance out between these two. It's, uh, you can still use it as just a standard gain there. So that is going to control the gain and we'll reduce it by about a third there maybe. Right, so let's get some drums back in here. So we'll take away all these elements. We'll close that down. Uh, and we haven't done this yet. We're going to click Save. We should have done this. Um, so for now, we'll put it in my Patreon thing here. Uh, and we'll call this Trans One Key One. All right, so this will be available on Patreon. I'll post this over there. If you want to get access to presets, you can just follow I think it's three dollars I think to get access to those uh, and five for the MIDI as well uh, but that's where the preset will be located so we're gonna get drum set six on layer five so here trans essence and multi samples drum set six right so now we can pick the hats in this section so let's put on the arpeggiator Oops. So you can see I'm going to be drawing hats in here. So Okay, so I'm thinking that is one, two. because we've actually uh, put this out of the key range that I usually work in there. As much as that sounds quite appealing to me right now, we're not going for that. So it's a minus two to get that hat. In fact, I think if we go down one more, we'll get the closed hat. Yeah, that's what we want. So three on that one, was it? Yep. So it's relatively easy how to do this. Okay, and then on layer six, so you can go, let's just turn off that layer there. You can go in here and right click on here and copy and paste just to save some time. It's entirely up to how you work. Turn the arpeggiator on again, put this to sixteenths. Let's put a clap in there this time. So we can even have the snare there. Okay, so minus four is the clap. There we are. And then finally on here, in fact, that's what we'll do with that one. We'll copy this again. Uh, we'll leave this as an open hat and we'll have the closed hat on layer seven. And what we'll do is we'll have a rolling pattern as so. Okay. Um, so again, paste that on there. So it starts. And arpeggiator. So it's minus four, I think, or minus three. Right, let's get rid of those. Uh, and just to make things simpler, let's just drag this down so it's only four long. So that was minus three. Okay. So this one then can now be the open hat. OK, 
Okay, so five is the open hat. So let's go to edit, open heart, and capital P. Let's learn to type open hat, clap. Uh, when that one was the closed hat and finally this is our I don't know uh, M master reverb okay so hit okay everything is renamed mid bass a bit of plug Okay, so that is everything there and that's pretty much it. We can go in here and can start tweaking things so we can start boosting the bass for the kick. At the same time we can use the second one to cut out some of the bass frequencies. So let's just say let's just say the bass is operating somewhere in the just above the 100 k mark. Let's just narrow that down. Just say the bass is there, so we cut out a little bit of a groove for it. So I'm not saying that's where it is, but you know the tricks and the tips there. And then we have all our control up here as well as our master controls here. not working because we've added extra layers into that sound so what we can do instead is that would turn down those and then we might not need to edit the gain uh, or did we, we did the gain on the mellow there so let's just try this gain adjustment there as well so let's just try and simply increase that perfect okay so there we are chain on here as well turn that up on the mixer which is this one and there you have it that is how to build a one key preset uh, I'll go in there and save that again um, go on to edit here and I can just put built during tutorial video and then the link would be there for anybody that discovers that in the future and can't find the video and we'll class that as a sequence and apply and there we have it we have four elements that's uh, three elements that are the bass and the melody we've got the drums open hat clap and then the master reverb there on the end there you go so that is the trans one key version one if you enjoyed the tutorial, let me know in the comments down below and leave a like. And finally, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Three videos per week on trance and music production techniques and everything else. And you can get this preset from my subscription on Patreon if you want to support. Even if you just want to support for one month by donating $3. Go for it so you can get all the stuff. You don't have to stay subscribed. And there's a few other tiers on there should you want to support. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.